if you look at the current uh, uh, capacity, um, there's you know plane landing you know kind of every minute um, is that's going to double in, in in the next several years. Um, so are we going to have the capacity? And and worse than that, <laughs> are we? What are we going to do when we have the limited physical capacity, uh, runways and all the infrastructure? But more importantly, uh, the limited mental capacity. Are we actually going to double staff? Are we going to continue to solely rely on this human brain uh, to, to constantly uh, be aware? Um, it, it's a recipe for disaster. You know, accidents will increase. So uh, we'll never replace the human. The human brain is the, the ultimate uh, manager and authority. But, but clearly, as scale and complexity, the velocity, um, uh, you know, increases across all industries, but aviation is this one example, um, uh, the, the technology and the processes are going to have to really step up to, to add more support, decision support, to add more intelligence, uh, to be smarter in, in every way as, as a solution. Uh, especially under the cost pressures that, you know, in the U.S. and internationally, um, building more infrastructure and hiring more people um, is, is just, will be severely limited. So given the demand, there must be another answer. And again, it's, it's more intelligent uh, systems to help us manage the new world complexity.